get some coffee going because we're gonna need it. Happy Monday, y'all. Uh, yesterday was Mother's Day, so happy belated Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. This weekend was wild. <laughs> this weekend has called for some radical change. Man, okay. My last year with me, I talked about how I took the whole week off, which was great. Um, and then last week, I don't know what happened. I mean, I was working, but I just, I think I was working so much on YouTube and stuff that I like barely listed. I barely listed. And so my sales this weekend were awful. And I'm just so, so tired of hearing myself say that. And so I am calling for a reselling intervention. <laughs> I'm intervening upon myself. And it's like, I just got to list. And really in the past, the only way that I have been able to be consistent is if I make it a non-negotiable. Uh, before I go to bed, I have to list X amount. And that, that means getting less sleep, that means getting less sleep, and that's just how it's gonna be. Um, you know, eventually I'll pay the price enough where I'll make a change. And so I am happy to report that <laughs> yesterday and today I have done my listings already. So, you know, at least there's that. Um, but I had a zero dollar sales day on Poshmark on Saturday. And I honestly can't remember the last time that happened. If it's happened since I started doing these videos, let me remind me in the comments down below. But I've had plenty of zero dollar sales days on eBay, but not on Poshmark. So that's crazy. But luckily, I actually did have quite a few sales on eBay uh, on Saturday. But man, y'all, it just, the weekends just keep getting worse and worse and worse. So um, let's grab some coffee and get to shipping. Uh, hopefully I am calling for change and that is what's gonna happen and if you are someone who also <laughs> needs to get their you know what together uh, let's do it together let's make a change now because it's been an adjustment being solo but I haven't adjusted properly and now it's time it is time so I am thrilled and excited to announce <laughs> no more excuses <laughs> Okay, so let's start with Friday. Uh, Friday, I had $195.16 in sales, and I had a gross profit of $86.48. My gross profit is going down. I should say my gross profit margin, sorry, is going down. Um, I don't, I think it's just because I'm not listing, and I'm like literally only selling older inventory, and I'm accepting lower offers. Uh, and a lot of this older inventory was expensive inventory, so uh, that contributes to the low gross profit margin. If I, you know, list more, uh, especially items that I get at the bins, that tends to help my gross profit margins because items that sell quickly tend to sell for closer to listing price. Okay, so my let's go. Well, should we do eBay first? Let's do eBay first. I had an eBay sale. Uh, I prepackaged it. It was a pair. Uh, new and tag zodiac sandals that I got in liquidation a long time ago. Well, actually, not that long ago, 253 days ago. They cost nine. Oh, okay, this was in that my last liquidation pelt that I ever did, where my cost of goods for all my shoes were nine dollars and eighty-one cents. I had these listed for thirty-five. They sold full price on eBay for me. Full price is ten percent off plus nine ninety-nine shipping. Shipping on these were really expensive because I had to ship them new with box and the new with box didn't fit in the shoe box so I had to kind of do a makeshift Amazon box. Anyway, shipping was very expensive so um, my gross profit was lower. That also you know, cut into my gross profit of $5.02 and it took 253 days to sell. So um, we'll just get this label on it, ready to go. Okay, so then I had, uh, I sold three things on Poshmark on Friday. So, um, yeah, Friday was a slow sales day too. Uh, so the first was a really cute pair of BDG Urban Outfitters shorts. I got these at the bins. Uh, my cost of goods was a dollar and ten cents. I love these Western inspired shorts. I'm listed for 30 and I received an offer for 23, which I accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $15.28. And they took 207 days to sell. Uh, definitely 
uh, shorts are selling really well right now. So if you have any shorts in your death pile, get them listed. Okay, and then I had one more sale. It was actually a bundle sale. Uh, it's actually to someone who watches this channel. So if you're watching, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Love both of these items. The first is this new tag, or actually new without tag, Free People Piper Eyelet Lace Hoodie. I, this is so cute. I think I have a couple more of these in my closet. I had a list for 88 and uh, this bundle sold, I think, for, it sold in total for $150. So my, um, so this item sold for $34.02, which gave me a gross profit of $14.87. And I had it for 555 days. And then the other item, um, I was a Rachel Coney gorgeous embroidered top. I had a cost of goods of $25 in that. Uh, I had it listed kind of high for $250. So um, that's partially why I accepted a much lower bundle price uh, because I was going to relist it for lower. And so I was happy to move it for $96.65, which gave me a gross profit of $51.31. So that's good gross profit. And it took 531 days to sell. So. Um, thank you so much to the buyer who purchased both of these gorgeous pieces. I hope you love them. And yeah, I got to move some of these older pieces in my closet that I probably just really needed to relist and reprice. I probably had them priced too high. But um, I have not started my relisting journey yet either. So let's put this mailer. Okay, so that was all of my sales on Friday. And then, like I said, on Saturday, I didn't have any Poshmark sales. I had only eBay sales, but I actually had four eBay sales. So much more than average for eBay, which is good. I needed it. Um, I had a total sales number on Saturday of $176.96 and a gross profit of $94.90. So let me grab my eBay sales. First is this Free People t-shirt. Um, this is from that Free People palette that I've talked about in nearly every Ship With Me video. Um, this actually had sold on eBay and it had been returned. I don't know why, I think the person just didn't like it. So I relisted it and sold again on eBay. So I had a cost of goods of $11.34 into this item. Um, I had it listed for 38. I received an offer for 25 plus 5.99 shipping, which I accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $11.08. And it had been 88 days since I had relisted it. So, it's actually not too bad. Get that packaged up. What I do for these videos, so I, for, for eBay, I just do flat rate shipping. Like I just put my shipping, it's gonna be $5.99. Um, I don't do calculated shipping. And then before I film these videos, I just weigh everything out and buy the labels then. And so that's how I do it. I think I saw a question about that on YouTube recently. So um, you either have to weigh everything ahead of time and do calculated shipping, which does make your shipping more accurate, but uh, does take time to pre. And I just had, didn't do it in the beginning, and so it would take a long time to go back and do that starting now. Okay, so my next sale was actually another item that had been returned. And the reason this one was returned is because we originally had a list for the wrong size. So uh, this is a new without tags Emporio Armani vest in a size extra large. And this we've gotten through liquidation is $3.62. I had it listed for 90. Uh, it does have a small flaw. And then it sold for 30% off for $63 plus $7.99 shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $43.96. And it took 
424 days to sell. I'm, this is going in a flat rate mailer. Actually, I have to tape this up. And then my next sale was something that I got at the bins. It was a pair of Lucky Brand men's pants. I thought these were really cute. I got them at the bins for $1.12. I had them listed for $38 and they sold for, I actually received an offer for $29 plus $7.99 shipping. And that gave me a gross profit of $19.61. And just so y'all know, gross profit includes my cost of goods, my shipping, my platform fees and that's it. It doesn't include you know things like my lease and so forth and that's the difference between gross profit and net profit. Net profit includes all of your expenses. Gross profit includes your expenses associated with the sale of an item. So my gross profit was $19.61 and it took 122 days to sell. I like picking up uh, nice men's lucky brand jeans at the bins when I come across them. These are a really cute color, so excited to find these. Get them listed. Lucky Brand, you know, certain pieces by Lucky Brand actually can sell really well still. Especially when it comes to denim, but you have to be selective, of course. And I would definitely keep my cost to goods low when it comes to Lucky Brand. Okay, so this guy who bought it, his name's Billy. <laughs> Spelled differently than my Billy, but I just noticed those things now. Okay, um, and then my last sale, another men's item. So three out of four of these sales were men, so it makes me want to definitely spend more time in the men's section and pick up more men's items, but uh, this was actually from Liquidation. It's a new Tag Goodman brand pair of shorts. This is a good men's bolo brand. Uh, this particular pair sat for a while, but I've had other items by this brand go much more quickly and for good money. So I got this through Liquidation for $7.20. Uh, I had it list for $65, and then I received an offer for $30 plus $7.99 shipping. And I accepted that, which gave me a gross profit of $20.25, and it took 804 days to sell. So I'm glad it did finally sell. And like I said, shorts are selling really well right now. Okay. And that is shipping first class, so I need to put it in a you know, non priority mail mailer. Okay, so that was all of Saturday sales. We grew up Sunday. So like every Sunday, I sent out 40% offers on everything in my Poshmark closet. I was uh, definitely eager to do this, especially after having no sales on Saturday. Um, and I sent out 40% off offers on my entire closet. I do that every Sunday using Poshmark VA. I love using Poshmark VA for my Poshmark business. Honestly, I probably have way more zero dollar sales days if I didn't have it. Um, it sends out offers to likers for me automatically. I use it every Sunday. It also shares my closet for me. And um, if you aren't using automation software yet, for Poshmark, I would highly recommend just trying it out. You can try out Poshmark VA for two weeks free. And then if you like it, you can use my code MOGIBETH and get 20% off your first purchase. So um, I would highly recommend just trying it out. It definitely makes a huge difference and so, so, so many resellers on Poshmark use automation software. So definitely uh, kind of puts you at a disadvantage if you aren't. Um, okay, so I actually had four eBay sales on Sunday. So I had a good eBay weekend. I uh, don't know why, just happy about it. 
I think I was cross-listing more than I was listing this past week. Oh, okay, but actually before I get started on my first eBay sale, let me go over my Sunday stats. So I had a total sales on Sunday of $388.46, so much better than the other two days, um, but you know, still not enough to make up for uh, my lack of sales the other two days. My gross profit on Sunday was $151.28. So. Let's start with my first sale on Sunday, and it was actually a uh, item that I had purchased on Whatnot. So I did a video where I was explaining basically how to purchase things on Whatnot and sell it on Poshmark and eBay. You can do a little bit of arbitrage there because there are a lot of sellers on Whatnot who sell things for really, really cheap. So I got this Max Mara top for $15.25 on Whatnot from my friend Ashley Wheeler, who's a great seller on Whatnot. Um, and I had it listed for $60 and it sold on eBay for 30% off plus shipping, so $42 plus $5.99 shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $18.07 and it sold after 117 days, which really isn't that bad. So very happy with this sale, a little bit of arbitrage, didn't have to you know, leave the house to acquire this item, which is always nice, especially when you have things like a baby. Um, so yeah, what not is... Uh, a good, if you are someone who has to source primarily from home, uh, I would recommend watching my online arbitrage video, which I'll link up on the screen, and also, um, if you want to, I'll link up that whatnot video, uh, but that's another way that you can do a little bit of arbitrage. Because an $18 gross profit is really not that bad. Okay, and then next I sold this. I had a bunch of these, and this is the last one I'm pretty sure that I have. Uh, this new tag 47 is the brand New York Giants hat. I got this in liquidation. I had it listed for 25. I sold it for 30% off plus shipping, so it came out to 22.49, 17.50 plus 4.99 shipping. And that gave me a gross profit of $7.40. And it sold after 376 days. So, sold all my hats, all my Giants hats. I'll sometimes pick up sports related things at the bins, especially if it's new with tag. It typically sells pretty well. Not for a ton of money, though. I'm sure there are people out there who know the pieces that do sell for a lot of money. I'm sure there are. Just like with anything, rare pieces, but I'm certainly not someone who knows what those pieces are. Okay, and then I had two more eBay sales. Next was a Vince find. This was an Athleta top called Athleta Essence Vital Tea in this pretty orange color. I got it for 99 cents and uh, it sold, I had it listed for 30, it sold for, again, 30% off plus shipping, so 21 uh, plus uh, 4.99 shipping. And that gave me a gross profit of $15.61, so not too bad. And it sold after 192 days. That's a pretty good sales price, 21 bucks for an athletic tee. Happy about that. It is a really soft fabric. Athleta makes really nice stuff. One of my favorite bread and butter brands. And then my last eBay sale of the weekend was actually another Ben's item. I was really happy to sell this. I got this Theory Men's Linen Double Breasted Blazer at the Ben's for a dollar and eleven cents. And I had it listed for 88 and I received an offer for 50 plus $7.99 shipping, which I accepted. And that gave me a gross profit of $32.58 after shipping and everything, because shipping was a little bit expensive. 
and it sold after 399 days. So it took a little while to sell, but you know, now that it's summer and this is linen, I think it is selling and that makes sense to me. So very happy to see it sell. Let's get it in here. Okay. And those were all of my eBay sales. So now let's jump into Poshmark. Like I said, I ran that 40% off of the sale. And so, had some sales from that, and then had a few other sales. So, the first, which I think I have two more left now. So if you want one, you can just send me an offer for 40% off if you you don't have to wait till Sunday, I'll accept it beforehand. <laughs> but um, I feel like every Sunday I sell one of these and I have a feeling it might be to someone who's watching. So if it is, thank you. But anyway, what I'm talking about if you watch these videos is this new attack, Free People No Sweat Cross Back Tank. I got this through my Free People Liquidation Palette. It's really cute. I had a ton of them at one point. Now I'm down to two. And um, I had it listed for 30, it sold for 18. And that gave me a gross profit of $1.04 because I had it for, uh, I got my cost of goods was $11.34 like everything in that palette was. And I had it for 570 days. So happy to see it go to a new home. And then my next sale was another item I'd had for quite a while. And I think I'm getting close to selling out of these as well. This is a new tag Leaf Dolman Sleeve Cardigan. New tags. This one is in a burgundy color. I've had mustard color ones of these, green bug. I had a ton of these in one palette. Um, so it all sold off slowly. I think I have a few left. And so this one had a cost of goods of $7.20 and I had it listed for $25. It sold 40% off for $15, which gave me a gross profit of $2.78 and sold after 854 days. Wow. So happy to see this go to a new home as well. And then my next sale was another item that I have a ton of. I received a little bit off on this, but honestly, I have so many of these that I can't allow myself to not to like every offer that comes in essentially. But it is a new tag, uh, Splendid Kids Stripe Dress. Really cute, size 2T. I got this, I got tons of these in liquidation for $3.88. I had it listed for 15. Someone sent me an offer for five, uh, which I accepted, which gave me a gross profit of negative $3.85. But got some money back and got one of these out the door, which is, a win in my book. I've had these for 344 days. So good. Got that at the door. And then I did sell a bundle to someone who watches this channel. So thank you so, so, so much for your purchase. Okay, let's pull everything out. First was a pair of Madewell 10 inch high rise jeans. Uh, I got these at Goodwill for $12.99. I had them listed for 55 and they sold in this bundle for 33 she was very kind to send me a 44% off bundle, which was perfect. And then um, that gave me a gross profit of $12.91, which is crazy because the next item in the bundle also had a gross profit of $12.91. Oh, but these Madewell jeans, um, I had only listed for 49 days, so that's good. And then the next item in this bundle was a Peter Miller plaid button down shirt that I got the bins for 99 cents and um, had it listed for 18. It sold for 
Oh no, I had it listed, sorry, for 30. It sold for 18 with a gross profit of $12.91. And it was listed for 192 days. And then I had two more items in this bundle. Let me just package this up real quick. I think I'm going to try, let's see, to fit this in a, um, yeah, I think I can fit it in a large poly panel. Um, for those of y'all who are gonna ask, I get these poly mailers at ecoenclosed.com. Not sponsored, don't have an affiliate link or anything like that, but um, they are the most environmentally friendly mailers I could find, and they're more expensive because of that, but I think the older I get, the more I care about, you know, my footprint and my carbon footprint and so forth and so I didn't want my business I wanted it I mean of course you know selling online you're gonna have a carbon footprint but I wanted it to be as eco-friendly as I could make it okay so two more items first was a third love bra love third love bras uh, this I got the bins for 92 cents uh, it was listed for 35 and it sold for 21 with a gross profit of $15.38 and it sold after 86 days. And then a pair of halogen pants that I got in liquidation for $6.44. And let me just, black, I always want to go over. And um, it, I also had it listed for $30. It sold for 18 and that gave me a gross profit of uh let me see, seven dollars and forty-six cents, and it sold after six hundred and two days. So happy! Thank you for your purchase, and happy to see them get to a new home. These beautiful clothes. If y'all are repeat buyers and you've noticed the quality of packaging has gone down, <laughs> that's just due to me not being nearly as good at it as Tomas was. Tomas was very like particular about how things were packaged. Okay, and then had a few more sales. So running out of stickers though. The next sale was um, a pair of Free People Kelly lounge shorts. These are new with tag. I paid $15 for these, so I actually had a loss on these, uh, but I had them listed for 30. They sold for 18 in that 40% off sale, and that gave me a gross profit of negative $2.62 is not great but I got my money back and you know it took 357 days to sell so it's been too much money on these but that's okay you live and you learn and you get your money back and move on all right or at least most of it <laughs> I had uh, two more sales, three more sales. Next was a pair of a Goldie jeans. So I actually accepted kind of a low ball offer on these as well um, because I just, you know, again, I needed the sales and I checked my cost of goods. I could float this offer, so I just accepted it. And these are Goldie jeans I got through online arbitrage, which I was talking about earlier. Um, I paid $15.75 for them, and I had them listed for $100. I really wanted to get at least $50 for them, but I received an offer for $40, so 60% off, which I just went ahead and accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $14.23. I definitely could have gotten more for these, but, you know, when... Was I willing to wait a few more months to, you know, make $8 more? 
uh, no, because I needed the money this weekend. <laughs> so I just accepted that offer, made some money, sold after 115 days, and was happy. I will, you know, take that money, not my profit, but you know, my original investment, reinvest it in another pair, and you know, continue within the two months I would have waited, you know, potentially make more money. Oh, it needs a label. Okay, so next was actually a something I listed yesterday, so same day, so instant gratification. This was from a recent thrift with me. Um, it was a Lulu's Infinite Glory dress. I'll link that ship with me up on the screen. I love selling Lulu's. This was really, really pretty and a good find, um, but it did actually have a small flaw, which I missed when I was in Goodwill. Um, and I disclosed it in the listing. It was just like really, really faint. It's easy to see why I missed it. Discoloration, like right below the waistline. Um, I paid $9.99 for it. I listed it for only $40 because of that flaw. Um, but uh, it sold the same day for 30% off, $28, which gave me a gross profit of $10.39. So double my money, you know, so to speak. Sold after zero days. So happy to get the sale out the door. And um, I love, love, love picking up Lulu's formal wear, as you'll know. One of my favorite bread and butter pieces to find. And then last sale was a pair of Dr. Scholl's shoes. I've had these for so long. Um, they are these leopard wander up platform sneakers. I got them through liquidation for $6.99. I had them listed for $45. I never relisted them, I don't think. Um, and so when I received an offer for $20, I just went ahead and accepted it, which gave me a gross profit of $6.99 and I had them for 971 days. So, uh, had them for quite a while. I'm very happy that they sold. And they are going to Alaska. Yay. My mom is actually on a trip to Alaska right now, so these shoes are going along with her. But, all right. That brings me to my total sales number of $760.58 and my total gross profit of $332.66. Um, I don't wanna be a Debbie Downer. So I'm trying to very much think of this. Okay, this is the point at which I just make a non-negotiable to list five every day, which really shouldn't be that hard. Um, but with everything else going on in my life, it seems like it is. And shipping takes up a lot of time and then it's not actually the sitting down at the computer and listing, it's the photographing and everything else. And so I am contemplating making some changes in my business um, because it just seems like the status quo isn't working. But for now, my resolution is just to make sure no matter what that I'm listing five every single day. And so I have a bunch of photographs that I photographed over the weekend and um, yeah, I can get those listed this week. So let me know, do y'all have, you know, resolutions are not only for January. <laughs> do you have any goals, any resolutions that you're making in your business, any big changes that you need to make? I am constantly thinking of how I need to adjust and I am constantly thinking of what I wanna do differently and I need to make a lot of changes. So uh, this is the biggest one and the one I am definitely most going to um, put the most concerted effort towards. So next week on my ship with me, I will say I list it every day and uh, y'all are gonna hold me to it. Okay, well, that's the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Put out new videos every Monday and Thursday. And yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all.